Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingsfield. I am ecstatic. Not just excited, I'm ecstatic to go back to Pirate's Bay. I'm excited because I've got this amazing sword, this spider sword, and I'm ready to go. And I think uh, this was like the big thing to me. I was thinking like, man, the spider sword's gonna do a lot of work. And then from there on out, it'll all be smooth, smooth sailing. So. We'll, we'll come back here. Don't worry. I will come back and check out that cave that you might have that you probably noticed on the other side. But first things first. I need to go back to the Pirates Bay area because I have Harvine's key. And if you remember, there's Harvine's key stuff there. I've still got the Pirates key, and I think there's a bunch of stuff I missed in the Pirates Bay area. So I think it would be worthwhile to go back and check it out real quick. So if you guys were wondering, um. Maybe this will also help with the geography a bit. I'm now back at the big mine area at this point right here. So here we have the big mine. And yeah, so making some progress just like that. So uh, it's all pretty well interwoven this game, especially once you open up the fountain area with the uh, gold key and our uh, gold potion and all that. So it's actually, I find it to be ex very accessible. I think some people have trouble with some of this stuff, but. I don't know, I don't... I don't think it's that confusing of a maze. I mean, it is a labyrinth, and they even advertise it as a labyrinth, but I don't think... I don't know. I, I kind of, as I play, get the geography down in my head pretty well. So, here we are, we're back at Al Hunt's area. Al Hunt's is further ahead this way, over there. But, we're gonna go down here into the Pirate's Bay, into the west coast, or west bay, west seaside. I think that's what they're calling this game, the West Sea side. Whatever, it's the West Side, yo. West Side. Wow, apparently there's a gold piece I missed still hanging out on the ground. Now these guys all present no problem. Wouldn't it be amazing if somehow the slime still took like five hits? I can see that actually somehow being the case. So, let's go ahead and travel. Man, I'm still just happy that my MP is going to automatically restore. That's sick. There you go, that's where the, the skull uh, key is gonna go when I get that. But first, I believe up here was some Harvine's key stuff I missed. Yeah, there we go. So here's a Harvine's key. See, you can tell by the look of it, it looks like a Harvine's key chest, so let's check it out. Let's look into this situation over here. Harvine's key. And still checking out for pop ups. And alright, just the phantom, uh, phantom item. Yeah, whatever they're called. And... I'm thinking about dropping down, but I'll... I guess I wouldn't die. Yeah, whatever, let's just drop down. Let's do the drop. Keep on speeding ahead. To another area I know I haven't... taken a look into since I got the keys. Which was the trap area, because I think uh, there were some treasure chests I missed over there as well. That we should go check into. Just make sure. And also, I wanted to talk to this fisherman again, didn't I? At the very first Let's Play, I said I was going to talk to him again. You can recover from your fatigue by the seaside. Fountains that were made by the elves. The water there is from the recovering fountain. Okay, so he's going to be one who tells us about those fountains. So that's pretty cool. By the, made by the elves. There are hidden doors in the walls. You'll have to search carefully because something terrible may come out of them. Oh, cool. So he's also telling me about that, uh, searching the walls, although I guess you would have to somehow know it's Axe. My grandfather told me that there was a base of pirates on this island long ago. The pirates quarreled among themselves and killed each other off because of the hidden treasures. Sounds like pirates. Why do you keep smoking, man? You can find some caves around here, but you must be very careful because it is really dangerous. What else you got for me? There's another shore like this one on the other side of the island. I don't think you can get there, though, because there are many soldiers guarding his passageway. It's true. There were, and I killed all of them. Every single one. I saw this little boy, Sandler, and he's excited because he found a key around here. The child said that it was the pirate's key, but I don't think it was. It was the pirate's key, but it wasn't the skull key. I'm informing you. I just want to live quietly and fish. You're not on the right island for that, bro. I can't believe you killed the Kraken. It's going to be much safer around here now. Oh, so we're getting tons of exposition because of how far forward I moved. I wonder when the darkness is going to be over. I wonder when the darkness is going to be over. 
So that's pretty cool. He comments on the fact that you killed the giant kraken. I never, I don't know if I actually knew that. And I talked to me after that. So this is Jos Harvin, a descendant to the old pirates on this island. He came to the island since he heard from his grandfather that the treasure is still hidden somewhere on the island. So I guess initially he wanted the treasure, but now all he wants to do is look peacefully. Peacefully. Just kind of stuttering on my words there. So I'm gonna check out this area again. I'm cool with you, snail. We, we ain't got no beef. We got no beef, snail. Um, I think I got the only treasure chest here. Yeah, that's all. I got that one. I should have just like rewatched my let's play when I was in this video. When I was in this area, and I would have seen exactly which treasure chest I missed. That would have been one way to do it. Could have done it that way. All right, let's check out these ones. There's a save spot over here, and hmm, those are all taken, so must be in the drop-off area. Let's drop. Let's jump. All right, and keep on moving forward. Did I explore that grave before? I don't know if I ever noticed these bones in this grave. How sad would it be if the skull key was like... Something I could have gotten right when I was in this area, and I just somehow missed it. Yeah, nothing in those bones either, so I guess not. So the west sea side is clear. I mean, the east sea side apparently just a loop around. But the west sea side is definitely where you were coming from from Verdite. So just a little backstory. I mean, it must be Verdite must be on the west side of this island. So you were traveling east to get here. So that would make sense. Alright, I don't believe there are any chests here, but let's check. Man, I remember when this area was kind of tough, and we are just like, man, this area could be hard. Not anymore. Now we got the spider sword, now that we got all the levels. It, it ain't even a thing. I mean, I guess I didn't really have trouble last time either. Well, let's be real here, I wasn't really having trouble before, but... Um, it is nice to feel your power go up and feel like you've really gotten better. I always enjoy that about RPGs. You really do feel like... I mean, your skill level goes up too, and that's fun about it. And like replaying Dark Souls, you can really, really tell how much your skill level has gone up. But one of the fun things about RPGs too is just as you level up, you really feel like you're getting better, which is always nice. So, alright, this is what I missed, was this treasure chest. And a blood ruby from one of the skeletons. Probably gonna be the pirate ski. That would be my guess on this one. So let's go ahead and try that out. Pirate's Key, you up. It was the Pirate's Key. And there's the Skull Key. I could have gotten that a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Could have gotten that right after I finished the Termite's Nest when Sander gave me the uh, Pirate's Key. I had a feeling that it was here, that this was where the, the Skull Key was and the Dragonstone was in the Pirate's area, but for some reason I was just missed it, planked out on it, and got distracted by everything else I wanted to do. Because there's so many things I wanted to do, guys. Come on, can you blame me? So many things I wanted to do. And by the way, I, I want to thank, uh, so Fest 1996 on the chat pointed out to me, I was saying that there are three, um, three spells per category. There's actually four, he was telling me. So, um, I really thought it was three, though, because Stone, Earthway, and Meteor would be the three, four, the Earth Crystals, and then Wind would be Wind Cutter, Ice Storm, and I think there's one more. Fire's got Fireball, Firewall. I don't know, I don't think Lightning Bolt was from a Fire Crystal. I don't know, he told me it was four. I'm gonna maintain this theory. I mean, it could be that these make four when you include like, Earth Heal. Nah, I don't know. I don't know, Fest 1996. I still maintain three, but you just finished the game and telling me there are four. We'll duke it out to the end! He was also the one who reminded me that this was where the Skull Key was. I had a feeling this was where it was, and this is actually where I was going to go this Let's Play anyways. Because I really did think that this is where I missed the Skull Key. And I, I'm going to need the Skull Key to get the final Dragonstone. Um, but, it, it was nice. Thank you for the reminder. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and do this. So now that we got the Skull Key, from using our Pirate Ski, we're keeping them theme here. We can go ahead and finally go behind the waterfall. And man, it must have been. If you guys have played this game and you watch me go to this area and explain that you don't need the pirate's key to get through here, it must have been really tough for you. You must have been fighting and cringing, like, 
Come on, Dave. Come on. You're right next to the skull key. You can go grab it right away. You were so close to it. So another fun thing about this game is also just this re-exploration. I like that. I like when you can go back in games and re-explore. This is going to get rid of this waterfall over here. But yeah, I really like that in games when they actually, like some people don't like that backtracking, but I love when you get items and it makes it so you have to go through areas you've been through before and it opens up new areas in places you've been before and you might have seen. Because I think it really promotes, further promotes exploration. So we're going to get another water crystal, so missing all kinds of things over here. Let's go ahead and see what this water crystal is going to give us. And I just remember that now that my MP is going to be healing up, I can start using my magic on people and just enjoying that, so maybe I'll switch to Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt, because that sounds awesome. So this is going to be an attack spell. A water Crystal attack spell, mind you. So we are going to have, we're getting the, what are we, Waterfall. We just got Waterfall. So pretty sick, pretty, pretty slick. Uh, I'll go ahead and equip it after I do some lightning bolting on people. Because I think some people need to get lightning bolted. And here we go. Here's the big treasure. Is the dragon stone. So it was seen that the pirate's treasure was actually this dragon stone. Which was probably pilfered and stolen from the elves. Because the elves created the, uh, the area that you use it in. But hey, more power to them, I guess. Lightning bolt! Bam! Oh my gosh, that hurt me too. Um... Okay, now I know there's a range on that, and I need to get out of that range. Ha! I wasn't expecting that! Honestly, I did not at all remember what that spell did and how it acted. That was pretty awesome. That was pretty sweet, that one. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the lightning bolt. Alright, now we need to... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. It is this way. So, now we need to head back to the fountain area and open it up. So that's, that's where I'm on my way to right now, by stabbing you. So, on my way to open up the fountain. And I feel like there's another area that I'm... Hmm. I'm gonna hold my tongue until I remember what it is I was thinking of. Anyways, I think I'm gonna unfortunately have to use one of the rhombus keys I pilfered from myself. For myself. From myself, for myself. Actually, and I'm going to cast Waterfall on this guy. Just because. Just because. Let's do it. Hey, guy. How would you like a Waterfall? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I was just curious what would happen with that. And I ended up killing myself in the process. Oh my god, that is the first time I've died! It was because I killed myself just because I was curious if my own spell would hurt me. After what happened last time. Oh. Crap. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and run through and do all that again really quickly. Just because it takes forever to edit everything, so... I'm sorry, I'm being a jerk and doing it that way. I'm... Don't worry, I'll be so much fun, so interesting this whole time that we go redo everything I just just did. Um, Alright, so you can hurt yourself from your own magic spells. That is now knowledge. I wasn't sure. And well done me. Well, well done. Yeah, so kind of the reason that uh, I'm able to get these King's Fields up so quickly, because I've also been doing Dark Souls ones at the same time, is because by not editing them, it allows me to not have to do a giant load of post-production on it. And it, which takes a lot longer than you might realize. Mainly because of how large these files are, and how long they are. It's not actually the editing that takes a long time, although it did for uh, the Spider Sword, that one took a long time. But um, that, that took a really long time because of the counter and also cutting together every single moment of me. Oh, guys, I would have been right here. This is where I needed to go. Alright, let's go ahead and throw our slap our rhombus key on. This is sad, because this is actually right where I would have been. But, anyway, some backstory and editing. So, it basically, it literally takes about 
first I usually have to compress the file down to a file that I can edit in. It, depending, so especially for Dark Souls, because those are larger files, just because it's not an SD game, it's HD. It literally takes, um, to compress it, about six hours to a file that I can actually edit on, that's workable for editing. And, um, oh yeah, let's go ahead and get this one too. Might as well. But anyways. Ah, this is just so disappointing. So once once it's down after the eight hours of that, or six hours just to say that, then I have to go ahead and go through and edit it, which takes another few hours. And then once that's done, then I have to compress it. And that can take up to eight to ten hours. I Like right now I'm compressing a, my Dark Souls video that I made yesterday. I made a new Dark Souls video yesterday. It's been compressing since uh, I finished editing it at around 1 in the morning. Maybe two, 1, yeah, 1, 1 30 in the morning. And it is still compressing it, and right now it's about 12 in the afternoon. So it can take a long ass time to compress the file. And the good thing is I don't have to do anything while it's compressing, but it just means it stops me from being able to edit because I'm pulling it from my programs. So then once it's compressed into a small enough file, then I upload it to YouTube. You can upload it to YouTube and then it takes another four hours, five hours? Three to five hours, I'd say. Just because of how long it is. Now, it's um I'm losing my train of thought here and I'm thinking about Kingsfield again. Now it does depend a bit on some other factors, but you know how long it is and all that but and, and you can skip some of those steps sometimes I'm able to skip like the compressing step but if you don't compress it it takes forever to upload on YouTube and it's a giant file and I kind of like to keep them for a while just in case anything happens I don't want to get hit with copyright infringements and all that so um, anyways that's why the post-production process takes so long it's not really just doing a small cut it's all that extra that I have to do on top of that and I'm trying to cut other videos I have uh, multiple jobs that I work um, in, the, in both in the industry and out, so I, I do a lot. I'm very, very busy, so uh, kind of those extra steps sometimes just can really cut into things, so I am sorry, guys, that you're watching this again, but that is why. There's your backstory. I'm sorry to be negative Nancy and give you some of that stuff. Ah, oh, man, I totally forgot about the trap. I love those things, but um, <laughs> I just, I love this game so much. I love those little traps and nifty uh, things that they have there that just totally trick you up. Yesterday I was playing Dark Souls in Blighttown again. If you guys have played Dark Souls in Blighttown, there's a lot of traps and tricks there. And it was really reminding me of King's Field and uh, especially this actually this Pirate's Bay area and just how tr crafty and tricky the Pirate's Bay trap area was that was just that. So I really love all those parallels there that you see. And it, it's really cool with Dark Souls and just to see how From Software has really stuck with their design, or stood with their design, and kept on implementing and upgrading and making it better and better. And I mean, while King's Field, this one actually probably is my favorite in the series. I, I really love Ancient City. King's Field 2, surprisingly, most people, it's their favorite one. It's actually my least favorite of the King's Field series, for whatever reason. But I really love Ancient City. And, then Dark Souls and them sticking somewhat to their format and making it better and making it better and making it better and it really has now paid off for the company and I'm really glad to see that I'm glad to see it paid off for them somehow I missed the sword I thought I saw a sword on the ground and I just missed it randomly so I'm glad I came back here I was thinking to myself like huh I thought I saw a sword on the ground and when I was standing over it I was tapping X and just didn't pick it up so strange all right, I think that was the bastard sword. Let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Actually, I don't know. If, yep, that's the bastard sword. Let's go ahead and look at his stats. Not gonna be as good as what I have, but let's go ahead and look at the stats there. So 79, 28, and seven. So actually, really good, and probably would have definitely helped me out. Look at that monster. This sword is a beast. Beastly downward stroke. I'm gonna use it for a bit just because I picked it up, and that's fun. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead. And water crystal. So that didn't take too long. Sorry guys, you could have just skipped ahead I guess if you didn't want to watch the... I think it was only like 5 minutes and you wanted back and that, so... 
Uh, it didn't take too long. I, was, I can go quickly through this game if, if I really want to. Like, I don't... Oh man, this guy's jumping at me. How funny would it be if he actually knocked me off and this was the time that he knocked me off and killed me. Right after I finally died in the game. Right after all of that. Uh, that would be pretty funny. To me, I, I think it'd be pretty funny. I'd be laughing and then I'd be crying at the same time. Swing at you, yeah! Crushing you. So, the thing about this too is I think your levels don't actually upgrade your attack very much. Yeah, they really don't. So, your levels are more about your HP and MP. I believe more so than your actual attack. Your weapons are really going to be more of your attack power. So, kind of just an interesting note there about the way that Kingsfield works. That's worth pointing out, I think. I think it's worth pointing out. Uh, this was the right way. So, actually kind of similar in Dark Souls, I guess, how you can level up and it's not necessarily going to level up your attack power. So, I wonder if they consistently kept that throughout the series. I will be uh, pondering that. Anyways, we are just about back at the prison. Actually, wait a second. Wait a second. No, it's this way. <laughs> I'm like, wait, was there a quicker way to get there without using the Rhombus keys? No. No, there isn't. I mean, I guess there actually is. I could have done that drop by the, uh, by the mine. I could have done it that way, actually. Could have done it that way, but that's okay. And you know what I could have done, too, is just picked up those Rhombus keys on the way back. We'll get that one. We'll grab one of them at least. I mean, I'll probably pick up more Rhombus keys while I'm in the area that uses them. But, better be safe than sorry. Alright, here we go. Finally using this Dragonstone. Finally. Took long enough. I'm sorry for all the holdups. I should have gotten it a long time ago. But we have it now. And that's what's important. So let's drop off this Dragonstone and get ready to be blown out of your seats! Let's do this thing. Dragonstone. This is gonna be the MP recovery water. And now that we got that beautiful MP recovery, oh, look at it! In all of its glory, the gold potion restores your MP and your HP. And it is super helpful. So I just got through the big mine without any gold potion. I'm gonna use up all my blue potions so I can instead refill with all gold potion. So anyways, yeah, I got through the big mine without the gold potion, so it's possible. You don't- I don't think that you actually need this, but it is very, very helpful. Get me some of that gold. Get me some of that fine gold. So let's fill up. Fill her up, fill her up. Well, I think I have to say, the fact that the only time I've died so far in this game was from me killing myself in a curious frenzy to see if magic would hurt me. Because that's what all that was. I was like, will my own magic hurt me? I think I'm doing pretty good. I hope you guys can forgive me for that. I'm like, huh, alright. Well done me on choosing to experiment with that at the wrong time. So, I could go out this way. I could. Or, now I have opened all of these shortcuts up. So, now I have this shortcut open. Which I believe is the one that goes to Harbine's castle by the looks of it. And I have this shortcut to open. So, all good stuff here. This I can't get yet. Um, that one I, I still can't get because I need a certain item. But, I do want to show you guys that this is going to lead me back to the village. Um, so, here you have Al Hunt's place. So, this is going to take me to Al Hunt. Well, actually, I wonder if he has anything new to say. Let's find out. The water and food supply have been overtaken by Necron because the people here did not obey him. But we have been able to survive so far. My brother Cal brings us food and we drink water at Nodos place. I couldn't remember. I was trying to figure out how he did his voice last time. So his brother Cal brings the food. They drink water at Nola's place. If you remember, that's where Nola had um that water fountain supply. So Necron's pe the people. Oh, so the people here didn't obey Necron. So now he's trying to kill all of them. That's wonderful. But Kel Hunt seems on Necron's good graces. We haven't had any trouble surviving so far. 
We haven't had any trouble surviving so far. Of course not. I mean, you're... You've been eating constantly. I hope you haven't had any trouble surviving so far. You're constantly eating. So, alright, that's one shortcut. One of the places that this takes us to. Now let's go ahead and go through the other. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So this is gonna take us over to Harbine's Castle. And the other part of the village. Where I'm gonna check real quick for the fortune teller because we're in the area. So again, just some nice shortcuts through that through the game that this helps open up beyond just the gold potion. I mean, so there you can see Harvine's castle, as I was saying. And like I said, just really nice to just open up these shortcuts. I mean, that's just really helpful. Going the wrong way for a moment, but I, I caught myself. I caught myself. Alright, let's go ahead and... So it's light here, as we found out, because of Necron. That's what's allowing all this lightness in the daytime. Thank you, Necron. For being a savior jerk asshole at this all at the same time. All right, fortune teller, do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. Yeah. Crystal ball is trying to show us something. Oh, this is gonna be awesome! I got so many new items to check out. It's gonna be great. All right, let's find out about Harvine's key. The key to the rooms of King Harvine III and the treasure box is there. So okay. Not basically stuff we already knew, and by we, I guess I mean I already knew. But I've been telling you guys, so you guys already knew it. All right, let's see about the elf's key, the key of the dark elf's pedestal. So you're gonna switch it with the dark elf's key. Important, very important. All right, um, but I mean you kind of have to figure that out. So let's see, we got Pirate Elf's Key, Crystal Shard, Crystal. Harvine's Flute I think is new since then. If this flute is played at the Pillar Winds, the Bridge of Wind will appear and guide the explorers. Did we check out the... I remember getting info about it, so maybe we did check that out. I don't think the Bastard Sword is anything special. Nah. The Spider is definitely going to be. I cannot wait to see some info on the Spider. Let's find out. This weapon belongs to the element of Earth. Because of its attributes, the sword, the Earth Sword, weakens all magic defenses except for the Earth defense when it is used. Oh. Well, that's interesting. So, apparently all my defense is worse except for my Earth defense while I'm using this. Well, that's kind of important to know because I'm going to start fighting a lot of elemental enemies. Fire and ice elements specifically. So... Maybe the Spider Sword won't be the best thing to be using against them just for the sake of my defense. Blood Crown. I wanted to find out about that. This item looks like an old crown, but it has magical powers. When it is equipped, it will make your magical interval last longer. Oh, so this is a better. Your magic interval lasts longer. I don't actually know what that means. Your magic interval will last longer. Does that mean after you cast a spell, it will take longer? The armor used by the great demon Galfi. We're going to be hearing more about Galfi, by the way. Galfi, once one who uses it will be surrounded by darkness and unable to use the light magic. Oh, so that's what it was. It makes it so if you have it equipped, it is stronger, but it makes it so you, it seems like you're in a permanent state of dark, which is uh, kind of annoying. That's why I didn't equip it. I just knew there was something up with it. I got these silver arms. Let's see. Let's find out about the Earth Ring, because that's new. The ring was made by the warlock Shaddam. Again, Shaddam is the Earth Magician. Shaddam is the Earth Magician, Sadek is the Fire Magician, and Harvine is the Wind Magician. This, these are who we know so far. Shaddam, who is the greatest magician in the three countries of the Northern Continent. When worn, your magical power will increase. Oh, so this is, increases my general magical power by wearing this. So, that's uh, interesting. Though. I thought it was just Earth Power, Earth Magic. So, alright. Thank you, Shaddam, for making this for me. I am happy about it. Alright, let's see what else we got. If there's anything else. Cease Plume. We already know about it, I believe. I wonder if she has anything to say about the Gold Potion. Let's find Yep, yeah, alright, Gold Potion. I'm gonna check on that. Let's find out about the Gold Potion. 
This potion recovers all of the change of status as well as MP and HP. So yeah, it's also going to heal you. I should have mentioned that too. It's not it doesn't just recover your HP and MP. It also recovers status ailments, which is why, if you remember, it mixes all three types of water because each type of water healed a different sort of thing. I'm saving right now as a backup because of what happened last time. I'm like, I do not want to die again and have to restart there. I feel like an idiot. But, um, yeah, so it was three different types of water flowing into the fountain. So all of them mixed together to create the gold potion, and it heals you for all three types of those statuses. So there you go. Let's jump into Harbine's Castle, because we are here. Mainly because we're here. I mean, there's a lot of places I want to go to now. A lot of places I want to go to. But Harvine, we are literally right here, so let's go ahead and take care of it. Because it's next to us. That's how I determine what I do. I really want to go to the East Village and talk to Leon Shore. I really, really want to do that. So that might be uh, what I do after Harvine's, if I have time, depending on how long we go. So we'll see how long Harvine's takes. So this one, this area, I can now open up with my Harvine's key. Because this is Harvine's castle, so... Just want to show this off. It's not going to do anything for me. It's like a mini, mini shortcut if you don't want to go through those fireball slinging guys. Or over to the right here that I already killed. So that's about it with what that does. Now Harvine's Key is going to also open up this door for me into Harvine's Castle. So this is the main area that you want to go to. A lot of uh, traps and trickery in Harvine's Castle, so this is going to be a fun moment. Alright, so see as we talking about last time, Harvine's Castle aesthetic is this aesthetic. So, just kind of pointing that out again to you guys. And I believe there are actually, yeah, there are secret entrances in Harvine's Castle, so we're going to have to watch out for those. I thought I was going to need Harvine's Key for this, and the, just when it started to open, I literally just kind of freaked out for a moment that something was going to pop out at me. And I was caught on I'd be caught unawares. Alright, got you. With my quick super stab attack from the spider. It paused for a moment, and I got excited. I was like, oh, secret entrance. No. Just a pause. Just a momentary pause. So these guys I don't think actually do much except for... I don't think there's anything to this room except for when you're walking through the other way. You can see that those guys... Anyways. You can get hit with the magic through those walls. And the, uh, the guys who I just killed, their magic will cause light on you, and I think it also reduces your MP, so... Might as well get rid of them. Yeah, see how they shoot through through these walls? That wind cutter, deadly, going through walls. Up. Oh, here we go with that spell that I don't want to get hit with. And I already went through this area. Did that ghost just die? I think that ghost did just die. That was awesome. Thank you, Skull Dude. Scythe. His name's Scythe, I think. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Alright, let's go this way because I know there's a night dude who's going to want to kill me. I like how that's like, let's go the way that I know someone wants to kill me at. Wow! Wow, I was not expecting to kill him in one hit. I think we can completely attribute that to the spider. So, hey, uh, good thing I picked up the spider. Apparently it is really useful for these guys in this area. Because I honestly think that was fully thanks to the spider. Wow. Okay. That is sick. That is so sick. I, I can't believe it. Like... These guys aren't, wouldn't be that bad at my level, but I mean, that's awesome. That that is really cool. And wow, okay, so there's nothing here. You know what I want to use? Because I never use it. Let's go ahead and use one of these phantom things, phantom rods. All right. So as you can see, there are no secret passages. I actually don't know if I ever use this Phantom's Rod, so I will be very curious to see how it shows secret passage areas. These guys I know I can kill in one hit too. This area can kind of be a little bit annoying because there's these genie guys in every corner, so you just have to deal with it and take care of one at a time and clear them out. See, every, literally every corner has one of these guys. They're only dealing 10 damage to me, so they're not, doing, they're not too bad. And, man, I guess, I don't know if there's no secret passages, or if it's just, like, maybe I just, I don't know. I've, I've honestly, I don't, I've probably used the Phantom Rod before, but I just don't remember how long it, it works for, A. So I don't know if it's going to tell us when it's run out of the effect. And, B, I just, I don't know what it's going to look like. Oh, there we go, lost the effect, so. 
Good to know. I'm gonna use it again at a point when I know. Oh, there's a demon's pick. Don't remember what demon's picks do, so I'm gonna have to look it up. Anyways, um, I want to use it on an actual area where I know where a wall is, just so I know what it's gonna look like. And I know this area is gonna have some of that. Yeah, this area has a lot of that. Let's go ahead and use it again. Let's see what these uh, areas are gonna look like. Okay, so you can literally see right through the walls. Oh, I guess I have used it before. I kind of have that in my memory tucked away. Now, this area is a giant trap. So if you open up that and look at the, uh, and get that wind crystal that's in there, these are all going to open up and these guys will come out and kill you. And, uh, okay, so these are sort of boss ones. Because they didn't, this guy didn't die from one hit. So, wow, 354 gold. So this is basically a giant trap, this area, for that wind crystal. Which, as you know, Harbine's Castle, there's going to be wind crystals. There are going to be wind crystals in Harbine's Castle. He's just trying to leave right now. That's funny. Does he even realize I'm in here? I don't know. Don't know if he does, but this is the way to deal with it. So again, if you're checking for secret passages and you're being smart about it, maybe you wouldn't fall, like this trap wouldn't affect you. But the bet is that usually, I mean, even me, I've been exploring a room first before I check the walls. So they probably assume that you're going to check everything in the room first and then check for walls. Even if you're in the habit of checking for walls. And then this trap would just nail you and you'd be surrounded by these guys. So this is how you survive this part. And Again, people who think this game is really hard, they probably fell for this trap and were like, this is hell. This is absolute hell. Fighting four of these dudes at once. I think I fell for the trap the first time I played. And then, once I knew about it, I, uh... I immediately was like, oh! That is so important. I want to talk about the traps first and I'll talk about why that's important. Do you think that's Harvine? That's probably King Harvine. Because there probably would be a painting of Harvine in Harvine's castle. And this is sealed here. Oh, what's this say about intruders? Damn it! Damn it! Sealed. I want to hear what you have to say about intruders. Crap, maybe I had to kill all those guys the right way? The picture of a king. This picture was drawn by the magical powers of King Harbine to protect his treasure. The picture attacks all approachers. I'm gonna kill you, picture. Ha! Ah! I wasn't sure if that was gonna work. I just did it as a guess. Like, maybe this will work. And it did. Alright. That was, uh, really exciting for me. I was like, picture, you're in the way. This game does stuff like that. Like I said, you can kill all the people in the game. So... This game would be the game to do that. Alright, I'm guessing, yeah, that this is going to be an attack spell. Let's see. So it's, an, it's a win one. So it's going to be better than Ice Storm would be the guess. It is Freeze. So now we can cast Freeze on people. Let's go ahead and equip that instead of uh, Meteor, because that's pretty badass the way I got that. So yeah, once you talk to the picture, it gives you that statement about killing all the people. And then all these doors open up, and all those uh, knights will bum rush you. So that is what's in Harbine's castle. That was the point of going here. And you need to do it so you can get that shrine key. So now I have two shrine keys. As you can uh, see right here, two shrine keys. You need those. You absolutely need those. So that is pretty sweet, pretty slick. And I think that wraps up Harbine's castle. So with Harbine's castle wrapped up, let's go ahead and warp over, warp out to talk to Leon. So that would be the star key, star gate, star gate. Warping over, talk with Leon, and that area was way easier than I remembered. I think because of my spider key. That definitely did magic. That made magic happen. Oh, so again, this is another one of those locked doors here. I just want to show you guys. Not accepted doors that we're going to be able to open eventually. Eventually, we'll be able to open up that. So Leon's going to be in his house now, and that's why I walked over here to talk to Leon. Actually, he's probably watering the plants. Yeah, he's watering the plants. What's up, Leon? How's it going, man? To tell you the truth, my mother was killed by the poison three years ago. Until she passed away, she worried about the people who lived on the island. I think you gave her hope for a future. So she actually died three years ago, 
And she is still rocking that chair. She's still rocking it. Like, like the lady she is. Is this a dragon crystal tree? Did I ever get this dragon crystal? I don't remember ever doing that. Oh, figure of Seath is here too? What? Oh my god, there's three figures of Seath? I don't think I ever knew that. I legitimately do not believe I ever knew that. My mind has been blown in the particles. In the particles, I say! Let's talk to Leon again. I cannot make more than two figures of Seath at the same time. I'll make another one whenever you will need it, so please come back later. Okay, so he can make figures of Seath, apparently. In ancient years, Seath granted us a dark crystal that has a black light and is extremely powerful. If a sword is made of this crystal, its power would be unpredictable. He's talking about the dark key, which is what the elf key is going to get you. What's up, Leon? If you find a dark crystal, please bring it to me. Okay, so now he tells us that he needs the dark crystal. So, let's see about it again. If you find a dark crystal, please bring it to me. I wonder if whenever he makes an elf key, if it appears over here. For some reason, I feel like I didn't even explore this area last time. Yeah, so see, there's a little dragon crystal baby being made up there. That you can see. No, that's not a star. It's a dragon crystal baby. Anyways, uh, I guess I'll have to come back here and pick up collect my dragon crystal. I want to look at this again, because I might actually have time. I didn't go hard on his castle, it's going to be so quick to go ahead and do this. So, crescent facing up, and trident facing up. Crescent and trident facing up. Actually, let's check the fireplace. I'm like, huh, what if there's a figure seat in the fireplace? Crescent up, trident up. Crescent up, trident up. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to Gigi, now that I saved her father, and we are in the proper area. Run over to Gigi. I don't need to kick tear those tree people if they're back. I, I don't need to. That's alright. We had enough fun with tree people. Ah, oh, I went through the wrong bridge again. Two times. Third time's the charm. Third time. Is, it has to be the charm. There's only three bridges. So, going back to Gigi. In the back of my head, I got Crescent up, Trident up, if we make it over there. I mean, I got my Sun Gate. That's going to make me warp over there immediately. In a perfect world, I'd place my moon key over by the fortune teller, which I will do. I am going to do that. I am. I am, I am. Don't know why I got myself lost in my head. Anyways, moon key though, I, I, I would place it over by the fortune teller, and I think that's what I usually do. I think there's a fourth key set that you can get to the key gate set, and I kind of use that as my alternate one. So I, I can easily warp around everywhere. But uh, anyways, let's say hey to Gigi and her father. Aw, reunited. How awesome is that? Thanks to the figure of Seath. Hey look, and one of the, the pendants are missing. I don't need this anymore, please take I don't need this anymore, please take it. All right, all right. Yeah, because I saved your life because you had it. Please, be careful. Man, I feel like a good dude. And look, he's not as pale anymore, either. Actually, I, at least I don't think he is. I wonder if the truth glass has changed. I'm kind of curious about that. Let's find out. The truth glass has changed its tune. Tio Budwell. No. I just had to be looking at him, so... Alright, pretty awesome. That I, I feel like a good guy. And this is going to be an accessory here. So, here you have the... Seath's tear. Now, if I die, it's going to use a figure of Seath, and I'll automatically come back to life, if I have it equipped. I, I, and I'll lose my figure of Seath, but I will, um, I won't warp, I won't use Dragon Crystal, I'll just stay, I believe I stay in the same spot, so you can continue fighting where you were. So I don't know why I'm traveling this way, when I can fast travel by using my Sun Gate. Use the power of the Sun. Yes. Now, I have a specific area I would like to go to, so that's where I'm going to go. Now, I could, um, saving, hold on. Alright, anyways, I don't know why I stopped talking. So I could go to this area at the head, which I believe is the fire cave. 
But um, I really want to use the shrine keys that I just got. So we'll come back here. I just want to use these shrine keys real quick. So let's go ahead and use the Harbinus Flute. Get across here. And the shrine key is going to take me... I believe you utilize it up here. So let's go ahead and do that. Dodging you. I could be wrong, and I don't feel like an idiot. And I'll be like, oh, well, I should have explored the fire key and the ice cave. Fire cave and the ice cave. I've still got the fire cave and the ice cave to check out and explore. Too, on top of this stuff. But I'm pretty positive that this is going to lead me to... Um, oh man, maybe not. Ha! Look at this, just a random spot. Okay, let's go ahead and use our, uh... Let's use our Phantom Rod, because why not? Why not? I know that there's secrets over in this area. The secrets, guys, the secrets. Let's, where is my Phantom Rod? Here we go. And this will make it so I have to check every single one of those walls the way I was doing it before. So, come on. Are there any walls anywhere that have anything? 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 I don't see any. Okay. Well, I guess not. Not in this area, at least. There will be, though. There will be. Alright. Let's use a rhombus key. So, maybe I won't end up using the shrine keys. I'm sorry. Maybe that'll be a different episode. I mean, that's pretty much getting like close to the end of the game. I still got the fire key and the ice cave, or fire, fire cave and ice cave to explore. And those will be, be pretty big moments too. Oh no! No! I, oh, uh, okay, here we go. Secret passage here. I was like, I swear to God. I thought there was a secret passage in one of these areas. Alright, lost the effect. That's alright, because I used it for this. Promise key? No. Promise key? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. Crystal Flask, I didn't need as much, but I will take it. Now that I'm stacked up like all the hell on Crystal Flasks. I feel pretty invincible right now, to be honest. I feel invincible. Alright. Nothing gonna be over here. Nope. Alright. Let's at least make it so we can return this way. Now I do have... I can always just warp out. So... It's all good. We're pretty much fine, but let's go ahead and use one of the rhombus keys here. Oh, what do you know? I have two, perfect. So I can at least get out of, uh, for the most part. So right now, I, I should say one, continue progressing forward. If I need to get out of here, I can use my sun gaze. So that would be what I think I'm going to do. All right. And, okay. So this guy right here, who... Is this uh, the same? Let's find out what this is. It might be the same sales guy who's working with Necron. Let's find this out. I'm gonna truth class him. Truth. I wanna find out the truth about you. Yeah, this is Kelfi. Kelfi's here. So, Kelfi came over here now. You can kill him and get those boots, by the way. How did you get here? The man named Ernest came through the back. He seemed to be looking for someone, but only Necron soldiers are around here. So, alright, see these uh, rhinoceros boots? I don't know if that's what they're called. The Runus boots. I called them rhinoceros boots. The Runus boots. Super expensive. I can afford it right now because of how much I have. I don't know if you can actually find them anywhere except for behind him. And the only way to get behind him that I can know of, that I can think of, is to kill him. You might be able to nudge him out of the way, actually, by hitting with like the dagger or something, which I'll have to try after I save it. Because then you can get both of those without buying them. I came down here, but nothing is different. Healthy, you work with Necron. Shut at your mouth! I came down here, but nothing is different. Yeah, I'm gonna get the dagger eventually and just poke him over. I don't want to kill him. I just, I don't want to. I'll poke him. Poke him, poke him. I'm out of the way. Alright, what is gonna be in this direction? So there's a trap that makes you fall over here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a trap that makes you fall here. I wonder where that came from. Maybe it's from the uh, fire fire cave area. That would kind of make sense. The fire cave area would end up hovering over this. For some reason, yeah, I kept on for some reason thinking that there's a secret passage to, in order to get to this place in the first place. But it might have just been that you need that fire trap. Whoa! Hey, here's. I guess this is Ernest. And this is the guy I saved earlier in the game from the prison. Let me use the truth glass on him and double check, but I'm pretty sure this is that guy I saved from the first prison. Truth glass, truth glass. 
Alright, here we go. Ernest Clyde. Yeah, nobleman from Verdite and King Alfred's right-hand man. Ernest sent his troops to the island, but he lost contact with his men. Then he came to the island by himself. I am sure that Necron has the king's sword. I want to get it back, but there are too many enemies around here. There aren't any enemies, what are you talking about? Beyond the room guarded by the Copper Knights is the passage made by the Mage of Fire. It was made with fire magic, so fire power is sealed. Okay, alright, cool. By the way, I couldn't find our soldiers. By the way, I couldn't find our soldiers, meaning that we work together. Where is everybody? So I'm pretty sure that he's with us. I mean, he said our soldiers. I think uh, he's a soldier of Verdite, I think I said, so that would be with us. I'm trying to stop Necron, if you know what I'm saying. Let's check these barrels, check this barrel. Alright, well I guess that's a good thing I checked this area first, because uh, this would be the dead end area. So, I like doing that, I like exploring that way. Dead ends first. Now, you could get, you could get permanently stuck here. As a note, you can get permanently stuck here. Unless you have item, like magic, or unless you can buy uh, stuff from Kelfi, you can get permanently stuck in this area. Alright, so I'm going to rhombus key this, and before I head out, let's go ahead and I'm going to save it, I'm going to try and poke Kelfi out of the way after saving it, because I don't want to kill him. So here you go, I can get out if I want, I can obviously warp out. So let's save it, try to poke Kelfi out of the way real quick, and um, get those ruinous boots. And he's not even going to say anything about it, so I don't... What evs? This is one of those, to me I feel like this is one of those cool secrets of this game. So you guys know. Sorry I lost time by retracking to at the beginning of this for my uh, soul key. Alright, so Kelfi, I could kill him if I wanted to as well and that would get him out of the way. But we're not going to do that. We're going to try and uh, nudge him out of the way instead. So, here we go. See how he just kind of bounce back a bit. We gotta keep on bouncing him. And he, he doesn't seem to mind, see? A long time ago, there was a warrior named Merlin. I have his boots. It is a very good idea for you to get these boots. I didn't even know he was gonna start telling us more. Kel was a useless guy. Oh, now he's mad at Kel. I kinda wonder what Kel has to say. Kel was a useless guy. Kel was an asshole. But so are you. Okay, he's still nudging. Come on. Nudge over a little bit further. I really don't want to kill you. Try not to kill you, Kalfi. I just have to steal your boots from you. Come on. Come on. Come on, Kalfi. One nudge at a time. One nudge at a time. I'm going to fit in here, I swear. One nudge at a time. Okay. See, I'm slowly making progress into this area. Let's do it! Let's do it! We can make it! We can make it! Let's see if he has anything to say to me now that I'm hurting him. Kel was a useless guy! No, he still does. Come on! Oh, I got some more strength! Haha! <laughs> okay, I'm so close. So close! So close! I just really don't want to kill him. He's still. Okay. Okay, I'm almost in. Almost in. Almost in. Almost in. So close. I got this. Up, uh, up. Uh. Let's see if I can open this treasure chest now. Nope. Alright, come on. Come on. Oh, am I in? Am I in? Here we go. Crystal flask. And let's take these ruinous boots. Let's talk to Kelfi again, see if he noticed. Kel was a useless guy. Does he still sell the Runus boots? I don't think he does. Nope. Ha! Ha ha ha! Okay. There you go. There's another secret for you guys. You can get the Runus boots without buying them. So, Runus boots are really good, so I'm gonna go ahead and equip them. As he said, now I could have just bought them with all the money I had, but this was far more fun. Right? Right. So, alright. Runus boots. Wow, my MP. Look at that. You, that just shot up. Um, interesting. That my MP just shot up like that. I wonder if that's because of the Runus boots. Let's uh, let's unequip these Runus boots and see what happens.
Because if that does that, that that is incredible. No, it's already shooting up. Maybe that was because of my spider sword. Wait, I don't have the spider sword equipped. Huh, I don't know why my MP is shooting up so well, so quickly right now. Don't know why, but that's cool. Anyways. Kelpie's not mad at me. I can still buy stuff from him. Actually, let's see what he has to buy, and then I will wrap this. And let's say that's a wrap. Buy. He has dragon crystals. He has... Actually, he only has one of some of this stuff, I think. Yeah. He only has one of a bunch of these things. He has the crystal guard. Actually, oh, no, that's something I want to buy. It's one or two or whatever. Anyways, he only has one crystal guard. I think you can get this by being the ice boss in the ice area. So you don't need to buy that. And the leg garters, I think you can find the leg garters and silver boots, but I'm not sure where. As everything, like all these items up top I'd already found. Let's we'll see what else he's got. And, uh, yeah, so I guess... I can buy a lot of everything if I wanted to. Oh, so, wait a second. He only has nine, he only has three of these. He only has one demon's pick. Anyways, that will wrap up this Let's Play, guys. So thank you so much for joining me again for another Let's Play. And hopefully you guys learned something new with Kelty there at the end. And uh, I made up for the whole gold potion fiasco fiasco by showing you guys how to get those Runas boots for free without even killing Kelpie. So you, I could have killed him with the Spider Sword too and gotten them, but that's the way you can do it without needing to kill him. So guys, again, thank you so much for joining me. That wraps up this Let's Play, and I will see you guys next time. So, peace. Let me know what you think.